All right, fans of psychedelic rock, gothic and industrial music, and just all around audio files as well. Greetings, YouTubers, Facebookers. Uh, some new arrivals I want to bring to everyone's attention because we got some good stuff in this new arrivals uh, we got yesterday. And a couple things I want to go over uh, with as we go through these new arrivals here at Third Score Records. Um, this Clash 10 inch. Now, now we're gonna get into the goth industrial, and uh, it'll make sense why I put in UFOs in the title. Okay, so Sleep Chamber, Submit to Desire, The Mighty Sphincter, classic death rock in the Kingdom of Heaven album, Throbbing Gristles, last live performance, Mission of Dead Souls, Psychic TV, Dreams Less Sweet, uh, Psychic TV, Force the Hand of Chance, Chris and Cozy, uh, Current 93, now this is only um, a two, I was, I think is, uh, I want to say 200 of these pressed, I could be wrong, very small number of these pressed, this Current 93 is known for doing. Now something I did here, if you'll notice, Discogs had this going for $45, and I'm selling it for $20. And uh, so when you like us on Facebook, okay, you got reasons to, because we really are. Good prices. The Discogs is selling uh, this Joy Division record in our new arrivals on the internet for 28 bucks. I got it for 18 and it's in very, very good condition. Uh, PILs, Flowers of Romance. That is a classic. The Sisters of Mercy. Uh, more Sisters of Mercy. This is Sisters of Mercy promo. We've got the good old Ministry Twitch. SPK. So as you can see, we've got a lot of uh, a lot of a uh, goth industrial type of stuff. And yes, we've got this Charles Manson record in here. And uh, it, it's going for 75, 72, and up to 85 on Discogs. I got it for 40 bucks. Mint condition. This is the. Uh, the 1987 re-release on Awareness Records, Charles Manson album. Uh, slash Records, the uh, the early sessions. Now, of course, this compilation has uh, X, The Germs, Fear, Gun Club, The Blasters, Violent Films, the song that made them famous, Blister in the Sun. But yeah, classic Slash Records comp. Uh, Brian Eno and David Byrne. Uh, uh, residue of the Residence, which is a Residence album. We've got Vanilla Fudge. We got Captain Beefheart. We've got Hawkwind. Now this right here is a nice little gem we've got here. Uh, as you can see, it's got uh, this, the best of Ralph, and uh, it's, it's, two, it's got Snake Finger, uh, the Residence, uh, just all kind of stuff. Yellow, uh, just a really good little compilation here. Uh, on Ralph Records, Double LP, uh, Dinosaur Jr. little EP, uh, Meat Puppets EP. Now, before I get to the last three things in our new arrivals, because I have some other stuff that's not in this bin that's in our new arrivals that I, I can't believe you folks haven't inquired on it, because it's especially Pete fans of the big boys in uh, Texas punk rock. Um, these three records back here are the only ones priced extremely high, and I can give you a reason why. The psychedelic guitars, I do have priced for 60, uh, but it went, it goes for 100 bucks on MusicStack.com and uh, VirginVinylRecords.com recently just sold it for 150 sealed. It was a surf hot rod rockabilly studio legend, Jerry Cole, on this, and he's not accredited as doing the music on this album. It's in a very rare album. It was on the custom record label, which was a, um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a grocery store record label. No, no, no kidding. So it's very rare. He's not even credited for being on here, and that's why it's sought after for people of the hot rod genre. Sir, reversible chords. That's right. Super rare. Austin, Texas punk rock. Of course, you know Tom Huckabee went on to be in the Huns. Um, I've got this one priced at sixty. This album I've seen go for a hundred bucks. And I really don't want to sell this one. I really want to take it home, but I'm going to stick it in the store for 60 bucks. 
and see if anyone wants it. And then, of course, one more priced at 60 Yeah, for heavy metal fans, we all know this Coven record is hard to find. Contrary to popular belief, uh, it was this band that first threw up the devil horns, not Ronnie James Dio. That's a little metal fact. But, uh, you know, lyrically and musically and everything, this female-fronted band was extremely influential to, uh, you know, to, to black metal and to goth and to incorporating witchcraft and satanic imagery into their music. They were doing that back in the late 60s. I, uh, their drummer, ironically, was named Ozzy Osbourne, but a different Ozzy. And this is where we, the UFO came into the video title. Okay, this is a neat little gem here. This record here is called uh, The Occult Explosion. It uh, goes. It went for 70 on eBay recently, and you know, it normally goes for about 40 bucks on the websites. But it's an um, expose spoken word album of 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 what was all dubbed under the occult. It has Anton LaVey on it, and um, it's just really neat. It has a, a, a UFO investigator on it uh, talking for a while. So it's just a really neat novelty record, and uh, just it's just really cool. Kind of, the kind of stuff that uh, Chaos Radio DJs like to play. I'm sure I would love to have if they don't already have it. So that's our new arrivals. And it's like I said, just a lot of, you know, psychedelic, mainly a lot of goth and industrial. Now, we still have, we still have these. I only have two left. Uh, Texas Biscuit Bombs and Cargo Cult. That was uh, Biscuit, of course, for the big boys. It's two vinyls, mar it's, it's two records, you know, uh, a fluorescent marble, a green, and orange. And, uh, you know, uh, the guy only brought me three. I, I kept one for myself. It comes with all these excellent flyers, just a crap load of flyers, you know, when they play with the dicks and the offenders and stuff like that all over Texas. And, um, you know, some flyers that Biscuit drew. And it's got a little history on, um, on the cargo cult and the Texas Biscuit Bombs. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm surprised. You know, if, that does, if these haven't fallen out the door, I, I, I really am going to be surprised if, if, if this right here, this reversible cords, doesn't fly out the door as soon as I post this video. Now, uh, Animal Train, great guys. A current Austin a punk band came by the other day. Animal Train dropped off some CDs. and we'll be giving these out for free. Animal Train, as some of you may not know, is going to have their uh, a record release party here in the store. But they dropped off these 7 inches. And uh, they're really pretty. They're um, they're cherry vinyl, really pretty uh, cherry vinyl seven inches. Just really pretty, kind of a cherry marble. Now these are like compilations. It has Animal Train and uh, the Pukes, and uh, it, so it has a few bands on it. However, you know Animal Train is the uh, I guess the uh, the theme here going on on the cover. So we've got a few of these. Uh, and I still have in Architects, which, for those who may not know, uh, Really Red, the drummer from Really Red, which these were only pressed to 100,000. I mean, this is vintage Houston, Texas punk rock from 77. And I have three of these left, three of these left, and a really awesome solo electronic music artist came in the other day, uh, DJ Redwater, and brought some CDs. And I, I checked out his stuff, and it's really good if you're into electronic music. So that's the, uh, that's the new arrivals that we have. Um, if you're really into industrial or goth music or psych rock or Texas punk, uh, you know where to get it. Um, and be sure to like us on Facebook and uh, check us out on YouTube, our channel. And um, thanks a lot if you've watched this. Third Score Records.